Danielle, Vita Plastica. I've been making little videos all day. Um, I guess that lighting's okay. Um, yeah, so I've been making videos all day, and I was going to do um, like a diorama review for Luna Noir's camper and Jeep, and my camera just kept messing up, so I'm going to do like a crafting and dollies. I don't have any coffee left. Um, so I am working on, you know, Oren, my doll chateau Alma, that's at the face of artist. I'm working on her throne. This was a piece of like computer packaging. It's called, um, EEP plastic or EPE plastic. Um, and, uh, you know, it, like holds computers and stuff. And it's actually recyclable, which is pretty cool. So I painted it with Krylon for plastic. And, and I actually, I only had black, as you'll see, it's black underneath all that. Um, and I would usually go white first and then go darker, but all I had was black. So I used black and I went lighter. Um, and I had, I noticed that um, while parts of it had like a sort of a stone texture, let's see if you can pick that up on the camera at all. Some of it has a, like, this backing here. That's one thing I have to show you that. Anyway, basically one of it, when you, one of them, one of the sides, ugh, one of the surfaces, like when you paint it, it looks kind of like stone, but the other one looks like a sponge. So I was having uh, issues with what I was going to do with that. So a friend of my diorama group, which you should join, we're getting really big now. We have like 380 members. Um, my friend Deborah suggested I mix some sand with some, um, with um, some acrylic paint, right? Um, and Ravika suggested I cover it with glue and then paint, which I'm, I am gonna use, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so I, uh, right, she said I was using glue to fill up the holes and then painting over that. And then I also had some spackle on hand that's really good and lightweight. Hold on, this stuff. Oh, it's backwards facing. So it's patch and paint. It's super lightweight. I thought this thing was empty and it's totally full of nice, good, fluffy goodness that fills cracks really well. So I covered it all over with that and then I did the stone texture. But this is a temple ruin. Okay, let me just go back. Orin is a snake goddess. Um, and so this is her throne in the snake temple, which is a jungle ruin. She's a snake person that lives in the jungle. So, um, so this is her throne and it's a ruin. Um, so that cracking that the glue did will come in handy. I have other things. Oh yeah. So I've got other parts to the ruin that I haven't started working. I haven't started painting yet. Um, so these will be sort of, sort of sitting in the background somewhere haphazardly. Um, and so that I want to do the Elmer's glue. Um, and then painting over that and seeing if I can make that crack thing happen again. Um, and you can also do the cracking thing by painting an underlayer of paint, um, painting on glue, and then while the glue is still wet, painting on with acrylic paint. I might do that effect all over so it's all cracked looking. Um, but we'll see how that works. So I'm going to craft while I talk to you guys. So how are you? Good, good, glad to hear it. Oh my God, I'm abusing my dolls. Um, gosh, I had a great idea to do this and then I'm like, I have nothing to talk about. Well, um, oh, I've got some very exciting and terrifying news. I am going to be running a little panel at the Atlanta Bowl Joint It's All Convention here in Atlanta. So I'm going to be doing a little seminar thing on diorama making on a budget. So if you guys are in the area and you're coming down, check it out. I don't know when it's going to be because you have to like request certain times and they'll tell me later what my slot is. But yeah, I was also thinking about bringing some of the dioramas, like maybe the swamp shack and um, the, the Jeep and the caravan, maybe bringing those so that people can do photo ops if they want with, with their own dolls, you know. Um, I think that might be cool, but then that would mean that I'm basically sitting there all day. 
So I was thinking about getting a vendor booth for that, but I'm not sure what my schedule is going to allow because I do want to also enjoy the convention. Um, and it's pretty small, and I would love to see it continue as long as possible. So I'm just trying to contribute. But I'm really excited, but I'm terrified because... I like public speaking when it comes to work because like with work I know what I'm talking about and I can help I work at a university I can help a student get what they need to do to fill out their paperwork to get through all the red tape I can do that um, but when it comes to BJD things I'm still new in the hobby and you know it's like it's full of people that I respect and I really like and that are like real artists. I mean, I guess I'm an artist, but I'm more like a person who loves to make a mess with glue. Um, I guess I make pretty good wigs. Ah, speaking of wigs, I sold my first wig. Can you believe it? This is so exciting. So, you know, it's like I'll probably never be a person that can do your face ups for you. And Selling custom dioramas would be great, but I mean it'd be awfully hard to ship but I can make wigs and I'd like to learn different techniques because right now I'm just just using really curly hair textures and um, And really just wool, but I'd like to branch out see what I can do with alpaca 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 um but this is nice, crafting with you guys, because I can just do my thing. I always feel like doing videos interferes with all of the work I do, um, which is why, why I never do it. But if I can just set up the camera where I can craft while I'm doing this, so I can take a break from watching all your videos, then it's up. So I think this is... This might be where I stay. Maybe I'll add a little more moss over here. But I don't want to go too crazy. You can't really pick it up in pictures or on video, but there's actually quite a lot of very bright green that my husband's like, what? And I respect his opinion because he's the only person that uh, can tell me, you know, how I'm flawed and I won't be like, I hate you forever. You don't like me. So, because he, he knows what he got into. It's been a good eight years of my nonsense. So, um, I'm working on, well, I'm not working on anything. Um, I'm thinking about the next doll to come into my life. And um, she'll actually eventually be part of Sabine and Mercy's story. Right now I'm just gluing and shoving things in cracks. Um, so she's going to be a little girl, and I think I'm going to do an Eiffel House BID 40. Oh my God, that face. I don't like little baby dolls. I really don't. I never liked it when I was in Barbies either. I don't like for my dolls to have kids. I don't like kids in stories. Um, I mean, I don't mind them with other people's stories, but just not mine. Like if you look at someone like... Um, Cutits, like her stories with kids, like they're not kids, they're just like little magical people. And it's not a, a babyish thing. They have very, I'm sorry, was that noisy? I'm sort of sweeping this stuff off this cardboard thing I'm working with. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, um, yeah, I don't like baby dolls, but um, this little cutie pie. I really need a, a baby person for the story, so just have to do what I have to do. This is actually nice having you guys over here because then I can just bring all my junk over here and uh, and not have to sit in one place. I can just get up and move around. So I've got some succulents and some vines. Another question I posed to my diorama group, which you guys can uh, also answer if you're so inclined um, what to make the vines out of because I'd like to have some big thick like ropey vines in this thing That's some Spanish moss um, so what do you think would work out good for vines 
Um, my friend Deborah, again with the great ideas, um, she suggested those handles that like are twisted paper handles for like like pa paper shopping bags. I have no makeup on. I feel like invisible face. Anyway, so she suggested that I use um, those paper handles, which could be great if I find them. I thought I had some, but we'll see. I mean, I have some, like, cheap dollar store vines, which I'll just have wound around the whole thing, but I really wanted that big, thick, ropey. Hey, I was looking for this ribbon. Boop. Um, let's see what else is going on in my life. Uh, oh. So, for the snake temple, I did some experiments in sculpting. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm not a sculptor. I sculpted one thing, and it was pretty good, like a, a steer head, steer skull. Um, if you are on my Instagram or Facebook, you saw it, um, maybe. So for the temple, made a couple of snakes. This one, I wanted to sort of uh, hang over the top, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. It doesn't really look like a natural snake shape. Maybe if I can bend this down a little bit. I think I'm going to give these some sanding because I, I'm no good at this, but it's cool. So what I did for Oren is made her an Oren. Um, basically what I did, this is another suggestion, um, but I don't want to give the wrong credit to Amber, who told me um, to, 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 to make it out of like foam core, like uh, put a piece of paper over foam core and just sort of cut around it. Um, in the end, that's kind of what I did, except I just used clay and a piece of some um, polymer clay and a piece of paper and just basically cut into it. Because I tried to make take two snakes and make a physical orange that's like 3D, and it's like my brain just could not <laughs> could not figure it out. I'm not good with like spatial reasoning, and uh, yeah, that didn't work out. So I just traced it, and now it's not that terrible. So that will. Probably painted like a silver or brass or something, and I'll suspend it here. Um, and then I wanted to have like a a snake here with like that kind of thing. So I made this. <laughs> Try not to laugh. Ugh, 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 ugh. It's terrible. It's terrible. But that's supposed to be here. So I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's so humorous. I I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It's pretty funny, though. So I'm just going to dress up this little chair, and um, hopefully Oren will be back on Monday, and I can't believe that I had just talked about absolutely nothing for 13 minutes. That's what you get, people. You want videos? You want videos? This is what you're going to get. Love you guys. Bye.